Hey baby, surprise! I have a plan. I've written you letters, and you'll be getting them all sorts of ways. Letters that tell you how I truly feel about you, in a way I felt I could never really say when I was alive. This summer comes a movie about all the things you wish you said, and the way you wish you said them. This is crazy, but I feel like he's directing me. I feel, I, I mean, yeah. He's pretty much just laid it out for you. Oh. Yeah, baby. Now for the big finish. You'll like this one. I hope it really lets you know how I feel about you. Go over the footbridge, which leads out of the thicket, which opens up onto Highway 15. Go to the rest stop off the highway, the one that's not really safe. Then I want you to turn around and go to the parking lot where we sat all night in your car talking about our plans for the... You remember that night, honey? When you told me you loved me, but that I should give up my dream of making it with my band? Now, I've never been good with words, but I want you to remember what I'm going to say forever. P.S. I hate you. Hi, I'm the message. Hi, I'm King James, Verily. You know, with the uh, with the message, it can be much easier to understand the Bible. Nay, Verily. Well, well, sure it is. Uh, how would you quote Isaiah 1, 6 through 8? I will quote it to you, sir. From the sole of the foot even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in the vineyard, as a lodge in the garden of cucumber, but a besieged city. How does it read in your message? Uh, why bother trying, Israel? You keep beating your heads against brick walls. Young man, it's impossible to have such an easy translation without a catch. Um. Well, Luke 137, nothing is impossible with God. Unpossible? Is that what your text says? Do you lack energy? Do your eyes feel heavy? Do you feel like you're going through life in a haze? You may be tired. Hi, I used to suffer from an extreme lack of motivation. I was so demotivated that I couldn't get myself to eat, go outside, or even with the dog outside for weeks. Now, that's all changed thanks to a new treatment my doctor prescribed called sleep. Now I have so much motivation, my pancreas exploded. Now I can do all kinds of things, like eat regularly. I even brush my teeth every day. I recommend you talk to your doctor about sleep. Sleep is the number one prescribed remedy for tiredness by doctors today. Please use sleep with caution. Side effects may include happiness, excessive energy, too much patience, a positive approach, extreme overachievement, a renewed appreciation for the finer things of life, unexplained charity, renewed hobbies, new strange and quirky hobbies, increased vigor and ambition, manually reapplying the ozone layer, and decreased joint pain. Sleep should not be used while driving, operating heavy machinery, crossing the street, defending yourself in court, or while on a date. Talk to your doctor and see if sleep is right for you. Bring on a brighter tomorrow. Yeah, yeah.
guy. The Copa Cabana should have been called the Cuckoo Banana. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day, Lucy? Oh, Ethel and I went shopping today. And we bought a few things. Oh, like what sort of things? Oh, you know, the usual things. Milk, eggs, cheese, diamonds, gold, rubies. Wait a minute, Lucy. Where are you getting this money? Oh, well, my part-time job. Part-time job? Lucy, what kind of part-time job do you have? Oh, Ricky, you know, my part-time international relations job. Lucy, I am international. And you do not even relate to me. <laughs> Lucy! You've got a lot of explaining to do! Oh, Ricky, well, ever since the demise of the Soviet Union, I've been actively smuggling weapons of mass destruction over unsecured border into the Balkan nations. But I accidentally left the detonator in your car. Do you mean my new garage door opener? Oh my gosh! <laughs>